I'm Martin. I'm just speaking. I'm just going to hear a bit about Steve's experience with uh, Steve. And mm. um, how did you come to know of Steve, and what was your first involvement with Steve? That's a good question about how um, we first came involved. But before we even start, I got the other seven memories. How did, yeah. how did we meet Steve? I don't know. Well, through um, Stepney Stones, I came Steve. to a meeting in uh, Unity House. That's right, yes, yes. So, um, and uh, the idea was put forward to this the well being high street, and yeah. there's um, chances for people like myself, you know, like. Uh, fellow drinkers and things, who uh, uh, in recovery, to do something because time is an enemy and everything else. I mean, I'm lucky I've got family, sort of, you know, I live with and things, not everyone has, people on their own. Yeah. So here was a chance to, of all things, get some self respect, some dignity back, and, you know, fellowship, you know, amongst, yeah. you know, uh, ourselves, and, and that, that getting your dignity back and self respect is a, a battle. You know, because we know we've not been good people in the past in a sense because of our habits and things, but uh, underneath there are good people there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is, it's, it's giving people a chance again. That's, that's the, you know, it's a very self deprecating bunch. You know, it's too easy to uh, sit and stew in your house or whatever and, yeah. and think the world's forgotten you, you know. So. And what were the first things that you saw that Seed helped you change or begin to make a change with others with that? Opportunity. Yeah. That is the big thing. Big opportunity. It's opportunities because uh, otherwise we wouldn't have a chance to do the things we've had. Okay. You know, um, memorable experiences like the pottery and things. I mean, I've never had a chance at pottery. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be one of my favourite things I wrote in the, the letter. Yeah. Uh, I think the potters have kept something to themselves for years there because it's an incredibly sensual experience. Yeah. Very, very relaxing. You know, two hours without a cigarette is unknown for me. Yeah. And uh, so calming. Yeah. You know, with a group of friends, and it, it was just fantastic. You know, it's just a chance to try new things uh, that you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a chance to do otherwise, or you didn't think you'd have a chance to do at all. Yeah. You know, it's I can't stress the importance of that. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, it's an opportunity, it's about everything, you know, so. You did some pottery, did you do any other, any other things with? Oh yes, and we went, we went to Tab Lab there, but uh, for people who, you know, who were creative bent, who got ideas, again, it's an outlet to show, yeah. you know, if you want to construct things or make things, you've got ideas, there's people who can help you develop them. Again, which if you've been on your own, you're yeah. hardly likely to walk in and say, Excuse me, you know, unless you're very confident yeah. about something. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we went on a, uh, a boat trip as well, which was an uh, unbelievably calming experience. Yeah. Especially as a lot of us are going through difficult moments at the moment, you know, at all different stages. And it's a great level of, yeah. you know, and to be amongst good company, friends, like minded people, obviously, with self. I mean, obviously, we, uh, my fellow drinkers, we will. A lot of empathy there, so we all understand that someone's suffering and everything else. But we were taken away from a situation that, you know, into a situation we never experienced otherwise. Yeah. So, you know, that's you know, it's wonderful things, creative writing. Yeah. That was another thing that was, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. You know, and I like to think quite a few people walked on uh, and talked with ideas about that. And it even sparked ideas in my own family when my partner started. Uh, to write. Yeah. So again, knock on effects. It was quite a catalyst for change for you. Oh yes, the whole sea thing's been a, a, a catalyst there. Yeah. We'd like to, you know, to do other things as well. Some of the people went on the farms and I mean, you, you came back and sit, they were elated when they came back, you know, yeah. to being with the animals, being with nature. Yeah. It's too easy to say to just sit there yeah. and do nothing, you know. Yeah. And so, how did you find the seed program compared with anything else you've been on? You've well, been, there's, there's been nothing like that. Nothing like it. It's been completely no. different in terms of opportunities. Oh, yes. I mean, I, oh, yeah. Because I've been in various therapies and years. I've been in deep talks and big avenues. Yeah. Well. This, this was a whole whole different field of opportunity for us. Yeah. You know, and as a pilot thing, it was, it was great. Yeah. You know, I can't stress how, how good it was. It really changed my way of thinking. And how long would you say roughly before you notice the first change? And then, are you still changing now, or would you say the, the what? 
Oh, I'm something. still, I'm still, as far as I'm concerned, in the process of change. Yeah, you know. still on that journey. Yes. It's, it's got you on that journey. It's got you started. Well, I was already. You uh, were already. You already helped you accelerate that journey. Would you say? Yes, I'd say yeah, accelerated, accelerated. Yes, because yeah. I mean, it just took me to a different place in that journey because yeah. uh, I've been off uh, drink now for three and a half years, right. and it was a bit of a stasis point, you know, where you're just wondering what to do with yourself, mm -hmm. and it's having the confidence to do things again. Yeah. And of course, we had the um, the classes for self improvement and everything else. Yeah. Which was it's great. It gets people talking. It gets people interacting. Yeah. And uh, you know, you start thinking, well, hold on, there's something here. You know, there's something here. You, 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 I'd, I'd like to think it gives people that little step up to think, well, I'll have a go at this. Mm -hmm. and, or you know, well, shows was, that they can do something. They're not, they're not nobody's. You know. Was that with a group of people you knew very well? You were starting to see. No, no, because I mean, I haven't been with. Uh, I haven't been with the group a long time. Some of them have. So I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a relatively new member. Yeah. You know, I've known a few of them a while. Um, so, uh, of course, I need we got to know people a lot better than, say, our weekly meeting or something. Yeah. You know, where we now come and we socialise here, whatever some of us do. You know. And you felt comfortable there was a, an environment where you could um, share your experiences with one another. Was that? Was that yes, true yes, to it's say it, that uh, you could open up? Yeah, it's non-judgmental atmosphere. I mean, people, yeah. you know, we're there. You, you can open up, um, which is always a hard thing because uh, often it's in if you sort of like open up to things, it's in. Uh, like efficient settings, if you wish. You know, right, say, like okay. you're going through yeah. therapy, you're going to a therapy or you're going, through, yeah. Yeah, you're going through your therapy sessions in rehab or detox, course, yeah. even though there might be activities yeah. there. Yeah, and there's almost a doctor there. Yeah, or, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, you came in feeling you weren't being prejudged. Yeah. You know, we were just accepted for who we are. You know, uh, we're open about who we are. You know, yeah. so there's no uh, fooling ourselves there. Yeah. So, um, it's great. It's, it's someone come along and, and, and importantly, giving you hope. That is yeah. the, my massive word. Hope. It's only a four letter word, but to me it's huge. And um, Steve, so how do you feel about, for example, some of these areas where you've had training or had experiences, opportunities, as mm. you described? How do you feel about when you walk into those places now or those places which exist on the high street? Is that, has that changed in any way? Oh, yes, I think it gives uh, people, it, it's given me. Ideas which I hadn't had before, yeah. And I'm in the process of thinking at the moment about which direction I want to go, sort of thing. Yeah. But because uh, I said I was, I was in this limbo, to be honest. I was not, you know. And uh, I suddenly think, oh, hold on, perhaps I can do something here, or yeah. I could do this. So you feel like, you and could... you want to encourage others to do it. That's the, that's the thing. You want to say, well, come and have a go at this. It's yeah. actually, it's actually, it's actually quite very good. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's. Yeah. Uh, so you feel like now you could connect with, say, with some of the pottery, if you had a pottery idea, whereas maybe before it would have been quite difficult for you to... Well, I'd have probably just dismissed it in the first place. It, but yes. now with this introduction that Seed's provided, um, this, this, this oh, framework yeah. of yeah. almost development within this, within this setting, it's helped and really made a difference to the way you feel about the commute this high street in yes, in indeed with the pottery I have spoken to it in Sophie I think it was the pottery. Yeah. And uh, she did say um, you know if she wants to we could you know buy our own clay and do things and I'd still like to organise that with some of us see if we could get it together and you know we'd pay for the firing and things yeah. and the Um because uh, we're getting the groups all like back together again. It's, yeah. a, it's, a little, it's split up a little while, but we're trying to get that back together again. But we'd like to know, say, we all, we could do that. Yeah. You know, that's the, pos the thing is, the possibilities there now. Yeah. It wasn't before. No. Or, it's yeah. opened up doors to you of opportunity. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. And I said, I mean, I can't stress the word hope enough. That's, that's the important thing. Yeah. And for some people, especially, you know, there's quite a few who are in quite raw states at the moment. It's, it's so, oh, it's, it's in line to know that they can, these possibilities can exist. Yeah. And I know I'm repeating myself yeah. a lot here. But, but the key thing for us is, do you feel that now the door's always open in that area for the high street? So it's oh, not yes. like you have to book an appointment to go and see somebody or you oh, have no. to phone somebody up. It's a case well, of you can drop by on the shops. So yeah, maybe. well, everyone was very welcoming and did Brilliant. say, you know, yeah. if you want to come back, then fair enough, you've got ideas, come yeah. and see us. So it's very accessible. 
Oh yes, that that was that was the uh, the marvelous thing about it. it um, people were so welcoming. Yeah, you felt like you wanted but to go back. Wanted to go back, go yeah. back in. Yeah. yeah. So once we get this sort of like group a bit more organised again, we want to look at some of these things that we want to do. Okay. You know. I know I certainly want to do more things like the pottery and I think others might. I know of so. all the different things you, you tried, was the pottery the one that surprised you the most? Were there any others that surprised you that you maybe wouldn't have done but you tried it and thought, oh, that's something that I didn't think I would be well, interested in? Um, well, the pottery has probably surprised me the most, which is strange because I used to go out with a potter but I never, never sort of really sort of bothered to have a go, you know. Yeah. Um, and certainly this creative writing guide. I think something keeps spurring me on there, saying, come on, it's about time you did this. I've been umming and ahhing about it for years. Yeah, so but it's again, just giving you that opportunity. It's giving a little incentive, support, yeah. And now the network's in place. Well, it's giving me information as well. The information's a massive, a massive yeah. thing there, because... And did you yeah. meet any other people who were passionate while you were doing the seed aspect, the seed uh, programme, that you thought, well, I can connect with them in that a community around you. Would you mean? Do you mean like any in any anywhere in that? Well, I mean the, the people who who, who run running. the places. Yeah, I mean, yeah they know you now. Past. Yes, I mean you can go Brilliant. in and talk to them. Brilliant. And uh, that's you know, as I said, you Brilliant. you're welcome. You're welcome to go in and talk to them. And they will listen. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see it um, probably sort of expanded. Yeah. Put, you know. So, and I wish, I wish more people could have that sort of experience. In, in a way, the high street's changed from something where you felt that if you weren't going to buy something, you weren't welcome, to somewhere where you can go in there and feel welcome to talk about and stuff and engage with. Well, you, there's a great deal of difference in, say, you walking down the high street and just seeing kebab shops and, and yeah. uh, charity shops or whatever, and, and, then, and suddenly it's uh, a whole different aspect of the high street. Isn't it? Yeah. You know, again. Um, I think the more people who, who know about it would, would be better, you know, get, you know, realise that these things are available there. Yeah. You know, because uh, we've talked to other people about, you know, what we've done with seed and everything else. And, and you would be surprised a lot of people are, oh, good grief, really? Yeah. You know, didn't ex- realise this anything like this existed here. Yeah. You know, so... Well, that's what we're hoping to do here with this video, Steve, in Montague's, which is one of the uh, places which is part of the seed group isn't it and that's well uh, yes we've been coming here ever since you know and it, yeah it's great to uh, to have your feedback on that and thank you very much for all no, your insights all right. it's been invaluable thank you well, thank you very much indeed thank you take care